Books are a great way to explore the animal world, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about two great books that I have picked up that really showcase the animal world. First book, Reptiles. This is Pocket Books, Reptiles, a world of facts and figures. This is a great book if you want to um, learn about reptiles on the go. I'll show you how this book works. So, first Got a little um, introduction on reptiles. Good. In case you need a refresher on what a reptile is. How to use this book. Now this book is pretty cool. So. Let's see here. So right here. It has the common name. And then right below it the scientific name. In this case, the black mamba, or the, I'm not very good with these names, the scientific names, but I'll try. Dendro, Dend yeah, forget it, okay. I'm not a zoologist, I don't know this stuff. Not yet, anyway. Uh, it's got a facts file, um, which we, we will see more facts about in just a second. Then, it's got lots of good stuff in the facts file. Page number, obviously. Reptile group. In this case, the black mamba, snakes, and lizards. A color photograph. Need that to identify. And conservation status. And the black mamba is least concerned. Now, the facts file has the habitat. Distribution. So the habitat, where it kind of lives, uh, where, uh, where in the world it lives, length, how long it is, diet, what it eats, collect size or litter size, how many babies it has at one time, lifespan, and kind of speaks for itself, how long, is it, how long it lives, predators, if any, um, and an interesting fact about the animal. Now, conservation status. There's... Six categories, not evaluated, least concerned, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, and critically endangered. Least concern, not evaluated is, they don't, you, you don't, the numbers aren't really being counted, least concerned, you know, they're not any concern. Near threatened, eh, it's likely that they will become endangered in the near future. Vulnerable, there's a high risk they will become endangered in the wild. And danger is a high risk. The animals within this category will become extinct in the wild. And critically endangered, there's an extremely high risk of animals in this category going extinct in the wild, unfortunately. Now, it's got a page on the reptile groups. Just nice. Got your turtles and tortoises, Tara, snakes and lizards, crocodilians, and table of contents. In this book, there are lots of interesting reptiles. Lots of them. It's a nice book. If you see it, you like reptiles, or you like animals in general, I'd recommend picking it up. Now, there's others. Birds, which I will be doing in a later video. Insects and mammals that are featured on here. I believe there's more. I think there's one for carnivores, but I'm not sure. There is. Pocket Guide Reptiles. Now, ah, Animal Planet Animals, a visual encyclopedia. This is a great book. Comes with a poster, which I currently have right there. It's a nice poster. It's big. Now, into this bad boy. This is a nice book. Nice, nice book. Ah, great photographs. Well, look at that. Look at that. He's adorable. Lots of nice facts. You get your table of contents. Oh, yeah. How to use this book. The Animal Kingdom. Where animals live. I mean, it's got uh, animal features. It tells you all you need to know. Oh, not all you need to know, but a eh, decent amount. How do animals behave? You even got these cool sections, like surprisingly human. Like in this one right here, um, 
I don't know if you knew this, but elephants actually um, mourn for um, relatives that pass away. And you can see right there. Very sad. But um, it says um, that they even cry, which is really sad. And they rip up trees and grass and cover the body. And if they come back, even years later, if they come back, they'll still touch it, touch the where it's buried with its trunk. Pay their respects. Which is really cool. Surprisingly human. So those are always interesting facts. Uh, animal diets over here. And then you got your mammals. All sorts of mammals. Characteristics of mammals. I mean, all sorts of mammals. And then throughout the book, you got these big fact file pages where they spotlight the animals. It's really cool. Ah, this is a great book. I love it. And at the end of the category, let's see. I'm getting to the end of mammals here. Yeah, here we go. At the end of the category, they always have like a um, setting, and it shows you showcases a bunch of the animals that live here. Like for mammals, it's the African watering hole. You got your vervet monkeys, your hippo, your leopard, your hares. Right? Yeah, it's a script here. Uh, black rhino, lion, zebras, garanuk. Uh, Oxpecker, elephants, shrews. That's an elephant shrew. Uh, uh, Grinch gazelle. Um, giraffes, servals, crocodiles. And then, since, you know, they can't showcase every animal on the planet, um, they got more mammals. After each section, they have this, like, more section with, you know, more birds, more reptiles, more amphibians, more invertebrates. And not only does it have a list of animals that they did not feature, it also has this thing right here uh, of animals, like a certain thing, like maybe it's like the most deadly uh, insects or um, biggest reptiles, something like that. In this case, it's 21 smartest. 21, these 21 mammals are some of the smartest. Honey badger, humpback whale, you got um, spotted hyenas, and raccoons, dolphins, beavers, cougars, humans. Wow, I did not think that'd be on there. Wow. Uh, sheep, elephants, dogs, mongooses, orangutans, cats, wolves, and sea otters, which are one of my favorite animals. Got birds. And it goes on and on and on, and it's a great book. It really is. Highly recommend checking it out. Uh, local Barnes and Noble or something. This is where I got mine. Local Barnes and Noble. Yeah. This is a fantastic book. Lots of amazing animals. Yeah. This is really good. Thanks for joining me for this very first video, maybe, possibly. This might be the first one. I don't know. But, anyway, that's it for today. Bye-bye.